Welcome to 30 Days of Lightroom. In this video, we're gonna be talking about cropping and composition. So we'll talk a little bit about how to crop your photo, how to make it look the best it can possibly look, how to emphasize your subject, and we will talk about some compositional techniques. So let's hop right into this video. So we are in Adobe Lightroom Classic. We are in our develop module. And over here on the right hand side, you can see this little box here. If we give that a click, we have this overlay pop up on top of our image and we have the crop tool window that opens. If we want to make that disappear, we can go ahead and click it again, or we can hit R on the keyboard to open and close our crop window. So the first thing we have at the top of our crop tool is aspect and aspect refers to the aspect ratio or the size ratio of your photo, the length, to the width of your photo and the dimensions. So we have the option of a handful of presets in here. You can enter your own custom aspect ratio, but I highly recommend that you stick to the one by one, four by five, eight by 10, these preset aspect ratios here, especially if you are going to print this out and put it in a frame. Or for example, you're going to publish on Instagram, which is a four by five aspect ratio, but if you are printing your image, it's important to stick to these because these are very common frame sizes and you can go to your local store and very easily find a five by seven frame, a four by six frame, eight by 10, and so on and so forth. Also, if we'd like to crop to a video aspect ratio, we have 16 by nine here. And I have a couple custom preset aspect ratios, three by one and two by one for super wide landscapes. So we can click enter custom and we can enter our own custom aspect ratio and hit okay. So that's what a one by one looks like. I'm gonna go back to eight by 10 because I have this crop to eight by 10 for Instagram. So cropping your image in Lightroom is as easy as clicking and dragging these corners in and out you can also stretch the corners a little bit to go from a horizontal to a vertical or back and forth. And once you have the size that you like, you can click and drag to move your image around within your crop overlay. You can see here, I'm lining this portrait up with this golden ratio overlay, and we will talk about crop overlays here in just a minute. We also have another tool under aspect, which is angle, and it does exactly what you think it would do. It changes the angle of your photo. For example, if you took an image and your horizon was crooked, we can change the angle to straighten the horizon and fix a crooked horizon. We can also draw our horizon. If you see your horizon there and it's too much of an issue to play with the slider, you can hold command on the keyboard, draw, click and drag, draw your horizon. Let's say our horizon was really crooked like this. It will then straighten out our image. And once we're good with our crop, we can either hit return, enter, or the letter R on the keyboard to save the crop. And if we happen not to like it, we can just hit command Z and we can undo all of our crops here if we don't like the way they turned out. So the crop tool is fairly simple and self-explanatory. So let's talk about this overlay that we see over our image when we have our crop tool open. We can go ahead and cycle through a couple different overlays if you are looking to try a couple different compositional techniques. We can go up to tools, crop overlay, and we have the option of a bunch of different crop overlays. We can also use the shortcut O on the keyboard. So let's go ahead and use the shortcut O and cycle through some of these crop overlays. We have the golden spiral. We have a couple different aspect ratio previews. We have a big grid. We have the rule of thirds. We can see how our subject lines up pretty nicely here on the rule of thirds. We have these diagonals. Diagonals are very powerful within photography. We have some more dynamic diagonals here. Kind of works well with our image. And then back to our original that we had before. And this is great. I like this golden spiral, but this spiral may not fit every single image. So if we hold shift and hit O, we can rotate our overlays around our image to better fit our image. So for example, this overlay of aspect ratios wasn't working very well because we're looking at 
a vertical portrait, not a horizontal, so we can hit Shift O, cycle through, and we can see what a two by three and a five by seven would look like. Again, there's a grid, rule of thirds, and then these diagonals, so we can hit Shift O and see what that would look like going the other way. And these are just references to make your image fit certain compositional techniques. Not every single one of these will work for every single image. So it's important to go through, cycle through your overlays and see what looks best with your image and then go ahead and make your adjustments. If I were going for a golden spiral type composition, this looks pretty good. I'll hit enter on the keyboard and I actually really like this crop and composition. Again, if we wanna further tweak this, we can hit R on the keyboard, go through some of our overlays. The rule of thirds is very close to the golden spiral, so if you wanna be really quick and dirty, you can just use the rule of thirds, kind of line up your subject on the third here because our eyes go to the thirds, and that looks pretty good. Now, when it comes to portraits specifically, there are a couple different techniques I utilize fairly often. One of those being the rule of thirds that we can see here. That looks great on almost every image. We can take a look at some of our other images here. You can see how the rule of thirds works very well. Quick and dirty trick. Here we go, rule of thirds again. These eyes basically line up on these thirds. And if we go ahead and we look at almost all of these images, Something is almost always, that is right there perfectly on the third, that looks great. Again, the face right there. You can always center your subject to really emphasize the subject and emphasize strength in your composition. But again, going through these, you can see rule of thirds is very powerful and is a quick and dirty way to make most photos look good. But rule of thirds is one of those quick compositional tricks that works about 90% of the time but maybe not 100% of the time. For example, here, as I said earlier, I wanted a centered composition. I still threw the face about in the upper third just to give some breathing room up top. You always want a little bit of room around your portrait or your subject. If they are touching the edge, you can see that gets a little bit awkward. If I have my subject's head touching the top of the frame, it's kind of uncomfortable. Also, if I were to take the frame and crop right up against a body part. That looks very awkward. We create this kind of like sliver over here to the side. Not a fan, let's undo that. Another thing I like to avoid, especially in portraits, is cropping on joints. So for example, I wouldn't wanna crop right there on the knee. That looks very awkward. It almost looks like we're chopping the knee off does not look great at all, that's something to avoid. So just a couple things to remember, avoid cropping at joints, knees, elbows, neck, avoid having your frame touch any edge of the subject, or for example, I would not want my frame to touch the edge of this neon sign either. This will look kind of awkward too. It looks like it's pressed up against the edge. We don't like that. So I recommend giving a little bit of breathing room around subjects in your image. So we have our model subject with a good amount of breathing room here, and we have our neon sign as kind of a secondary subject here with that little bit of breathing room. So that is the crop tool and how you can utilize the crop tool to emphasize the subject within your image. And you can also use different overlays to also see how best to emphasize your subject. Here's another golden spiral that I think would work really well, cropped in right around here. I wanna be careful not to crop on the ankle but I think that looks like a pretty good composition. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Share this video with your photography friends on social media. And until next time, get out and go shoot.